Hi, I'm Jason Hurtis, and today I'd like to talk to you about fuel efficiency in your excavator operations. One of the biggest contributors to fuel inefficiency is idle time. Regardless of the application or the industry, every machine will have a period of idle while it's waiting for the next task or the next job to take place. Take, for example, an excavator. It may be idling and waiting for the next truck to arrive or the next piece of pipe to be placed in the trench. You spend time idling and burning fuel. As you've already guessed, idle time continues to add up. However, there are some things that you can do to improve your efficiencies while idling and loading. Let's talk about loading techniques and loading efficiencies. Here we still have our bench and our excavator up on top of that bench. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in a truck, back it up to the bench. Traditionally, excavator operators excavate from the toe, up the slope, all the way up the bench, and then go to load the truck. Let me show you a more efficient loading technique called the two-tiered slope excavation. Let me show you what the two-tiered excavation looks like. Let me go ahead and rebuild our face here a little bit. Now instead of going all the way down to the toe like we did before, this excavator operator is going to come down, excavate up, over, and dump into the truck. On his second pass, he's going to go to the lower portion, bring that material up, over, and dump into the truck. By using the two-tiered excavation technique, you save in cycle times and you also save in fuel, which increases your fuel efficiency. Another way that CAT excavators help you save fuel is through their auto idle features. And let's take a look at what those features are. So let's climb inside of this excavator and talk about the auto idle feature. First, I'll bring up my ignition switch and I'll go ahead and start the machine, which activates the auto idle feature. Next, I'll bring in my throttle and I'll set that to wherever I need to for my job. Auto idle will automatically engage after a period of inactivity. So I simply let go of the controls and I wait for one, two, three, there it goes. You can see my RPM is dropping, saving me fuel. Now when I want to go back to work, I simply re-engage the controls. You can see the RPMs coming back up to my set point, and I can go about finishing my job. In certain applications, I may want to manually engage auto idle. And the way I do that, I'll bring up my right joystick. And on top of the right joystick is a button that I'll press once, and you can see it automatically reduces my idle for me. Again, when I want to go back to work, I simply re-engage the controls, my RPM will pick up, and I'm ready to go about my day. It really doesn't get any simpler than that. Using efficient loading techniques, like the two-tiered slope excavation, and the auto idle systems, can save you up to 20% in fuel. Thank you.